just going to be difficult. Hey, little guys. How we doing? Now I got to somehow get my way over there and start putting them in this backpack. It ain't going to be easy, boys. Oh, you're making a run for it. Come on. All right, y'all, I'm going out on a raccoon job today. And while, you know, raccoons, they, they need management in the state and things like that, I, I normally don't like to do too many raccoon jobs. It's just not where my interest is. I want to get these invasive species and things like that. But um, this client of mine has been really struggling. Um, they've had three trappers over the past two or three years trying to get this mama raccoon and her babies. Every year she has babies up in their leasing office and they just cannot get it done. Nobody can do it. And uh, they're just kind of, you know, at their wits end and they want me to come in and see what I can do. Uh, the main thing is, is just getting mama out of that leasing office. Um, there's a pool right behind it and she's been causing all kinds of trouble back there. Uh, I think last week she ran up and grabbed a bag of chips out of somebody's hands while they're sitting at the pool relaxing and then she ran in the other side of the pool and ate it in front of them so uh she's a feisty little thing and she's she's ballsy and um that can be dangerous she's probably been fed by people before and and that can lead to a serious accident come to find out wouldn't you know it the raccoon's been getting fed. Um, some of the people in the le leasing office, some of the residents, you know, they think she's cute and cuddly and they've been leaving food for her and things like that. And uh, no wonder she's hanging around and having babies here. I definitely spoke with them and explained to them that, hey, you don't want to do that. Um, it's technically not very lawful and um, it's bad for the wildlife. It it's bad for the residents. And while it may seem like you're doing something good, you're really not. And they didn't know that. Their heart was in the right place. Um, most everyone is when they're doing this. And it's just a, a lack of knowledge and, and um, education in, in the area. So, um, you know, I kind of spoke with them, let them know, and got them on the same page. That's where she's at. See all the dark marks from her. This is what they've kind of put for her to go up and down. There's our trap. See how we do. We're gonna leave this room locked. She can't get out of here. She can only go from the attic down into this room. And um, we're gonna basically force her to go in that trap. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, I got us all set up. Got the trap set, bait in place. Now I'm gonna let it sit, let it do its job. I gotta head down to the Everglades. I'm taking Moose out. We're gonna go try to catch some pythons and do some training. Hopefully the traps catch them and it'll be a nice smooth job. <laughs> Heading back home. Gotta go try to capture this mama raccoon and find her babies, get them out of the attic. It's kind of turned into an emergency situation. So me and Moose are packing it up while we're ahead and heading home. So Mama Raccoon is definitely smart. She's a formidable opponent and I can see why these other trappers have had such trouble with her. Um, she walked right past my trap, didn't even touch the bait, left, left the bathroom and went to go get her own food. She's smart, but old Trapper Mike's smart too. I had them close that door, lock her out of it so she can't get back up in that, that attic. And now I'm gonna go up there get her babies, bring them down, and, and move them out of the area. That basically hits the source of the problem. She's hanging around there because that's where her babies are, that's where she's been getting food. Once I remove those babies, she's gonna leave the area, she's gonna wanna get with her babies. We think her babies, which I don't really like this, we're thinking they're up in this corner of this vaulted ceiling, which is gonna be <laughs> very, very hard for me to get to. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get up in that attic and see what I can come up with. Oh, I, I ain't worried 
about it, but yeah. Have you been up here before? Uh, no, I have not. That's yeah. A little right, guidance might be nice. Uh, once you get up here, I'll go first. Uh, I'll guide you where we're gonna go. All right. Uh, once you get up there, you'll see uh, the, the brick line right where you put that. You see it. Luckily, I have a little bit of room to move around in this attic. I mean, it's still pretty tight, but I've been in a lot worse. It's blazing hot up here. I have a feeling mama's got these babies tucked away somewhere where it's gonna be really hard for me to get to. But I'm using uh, my Pulsar Thermal handheld, and I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to spot them right away with this thing, and it's gonna save me a lot of time and energy up here. We got some a little warm over there, but I think I wanna check that that corner that we think first. I'll tell you what, it pays to have the right tools for the job. I would have been up here hours sweating, killing myself looking for these freaking things. So, um, hey, that's what's up. Some more coon dookie. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll probably hear them. They're gonna be hungry. They're gonna be hungry. I think I would hear them, but yeah, we ain't hear nothing yet. It might be a little silent defense mode, dude. It's going to be hard to get back there, son. That's what I'm saying. Woo! We've never seen them because, yeah, if you mm -hmm. like it's right there, it's like you can't get back there. Yeah. yeah. So locating the baby coons is just half the battle. It's actually the easy part. Now I got to sneak up to these guys, not scare them away, and try to grab them and get them out of there all together. And that's a... A lot more challenging than you think. These little guys are small, they can sneak away from you and get in even tighter spots where it's just impossible to reach them. So I gotta go about this very, very delicately. It's just gonna be difficult. Hey little guys, how we doing? Now I gotta somehow get my way over there and start putting them in this backpack. It ain't gonna be easy, boys. They're definitely cute little fellers. Now I just got to carefully get them in this bag and move them along their way. Um, a couple weeks, maybe a month. Oh, they're getting feisty with me. These other ones are making it tough, dude. Golly. just keeping them in here I got one left oh shit you're making a run for it okay. come on ow I can jump down This raccoon ain't making it easy, but old Trapper Mike's got a couple tricks up his sleeve. I uh, got all the brothers and sisters, all of its siblings together, um, got them in a backpack, and I put it close to the edge so the, the raccoon that's down there can hear them and, and want to get to them. They like to stay together. Um, it's kind of a safety thing, and I'm going to see if I can't lure this thing in. I see him. Just give him a second. This area jump down into is just 
really hard for me to get to. Um, you know, even if I can get to it, I can't really see her and I can barely reach her. So I'm getting a little bit nervous. Um, I ain't leaving no baby raccoon behind and I don't want to be up here all freaking day and night. I got it. I got it. Come on. Come on. Oh, pissing. Shit in there. Oh. Thank the Lord. Yes, sir. The old bait and switch, son. Yeah, I got him. Woo! Was not easy. All right. Wouldn't you know it? The old trick worked. Got the little guy. I was able to reach him. Just had to be patient. And now we're going to be able to get him out of the attic and get them on their way. Uh, babies secure. All right, now that we've secured all the babies, um, we try to still find mama, try to kind of lure her in with the babies, and it just, it wasn't working. These babies are very delicate, and I gotta quickly get them hydrated, get them fed, and get them in a, in a good situation. Ooh, all right, mission success. That went pretty well. I, uh, I've had jobs that definitely have gone worse, so we're happy. We got all the babies out, safe and sound and uh, we're gonna take them out west. I'm gonna tonight get them rehydrated, get some milk in them, get them kinda nourished, and then uh, tomorrow I will get them to a, uh, a buddy of mine who's more well equipped to take care of them right now. It's a wildlife rescue out west in Okeechobee, and um, they are much better suited to take care of them than me right now. I got 100 million things going on, they got a full staff, just for taking care of baby raccoons. So, sounds like a good place to me. All right, you ready for some dinner? Come on now. Okay. You are feisty, feisty. Yeah, but you like that milk. As I'm sitting here feeding these little baby raccoons, they are making all kinds of noises, squeals, screams, um, you know, basically sounding like they're in distress. That is absolutely perfect bait for coyotes and even hogs and different predators like that. So I take my phone out and I record probably a good five minutes of it to now where I can get Ecotech to transfer it onto my predator call that they sent me. And I'll be able to use those baby raccoon cries and screams to call in problem coyotes, invasive hogs, um, problem bobcats and different things like that to where I can manage them a lot easier. You know, you gotta have a few tricks up your sleeve working down here, son. Yeah, have some more dinner. So I talk with the wildlife rescue and um, they're gonna be able to take them tomorrow, but that means I got them another night. So it'll be another night of no sleep, taking care of them all night, making sure they're fed and hydrated. And then uh, tomorrow morning, I'll take them over to the rescue and get them situated there. All right, today's the big day. We got our little coon friends in here and uh, they got their last meal with me. They're nice and fat and plump. And uh, we're going to take them out west, out to the wildlife rescue <clears throat> where uh, they'll have a full staff, full staff to take care of the little guys. And um, they'll be in a lot better situation than they will with me. I, I got way too much going on i can't just stop everything and take care of these things so um we're gonna take them to the wildlife rescue arnold's wildlife rescue out in okeechobee and um they're gonna take care of these little guys they got a full staff and uh they'll be able to spend a lot more time with them than i'm able to ain't that right little feller all right guys get you loaded up in the truck and hit the road 
So at the end of the day, while we didn't get Mama Coon, it was a successful job, successful mission. Um, the community is very happy. It's the first time we were able to successfully get the babies out and get Mama to move along her way. And, um, you know, we didn't get Mama. I have a feeling we're gonna see more and hear more of her, but for the time being, she's left, left the pool area, left the leasing office, leaving everyone alone and everybody's nice and happy. But um, I got a feeling she's gonna be a pain in my butt. Thanks a lot for watching y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a thing or two and I'll see y'all next time.